In today's video, I'll be showing you how to go from a boring static blog post that has trouble ranking to an engaging blog post with HTML elements, with images that's beautiful and perfect for ranking number one on Google and outranking your competitors. Let's go ahead and get started. I am using a new model from Claude, Claude 3.7. And this is the setup in which I'm doing. I pasted in some information about Q4 growth in Canada. And I just put that information because, of course, the AI is not going to have that information natively, especially in Claude, because we don't have the ability to do web searching. And this is the prompt in which I use. I can leave this prompt in the description below today's video. I'm telling you, I want you to write in an in-depth SEO optimized format. Don't plagiarize. Use your own words and thoughts. Write, including H1s and H2s. Um, create HTML elements based upon the content and aim for 2000 words and also include image prompts in which we will use to generate images throughout this article. So this is the prompt. Very, very simple. Claude 3.7 is really good at really understanding your prompts. You don't necessarily need to give it a huge prompt and tell it what to do. It's very, very smart. So Canada's economic Canada's economy defies expectations. Q4 growth surges amid looming tariff threats. So this looks pretty good. Let's see as it continues to generate the content. Now, this is obviously going to be more informational because it's, it's more data based, but I'm interested to see the HTML elements in which it's going to create. So there's two ways in which you can go about creating HTML elements. One is you tell it to include it right within, or the second is after the article is finished, then we can tell it to generate the HTML content. So I'm going to let this run and then we'll come back to it once it's finished. So we got back the full written article. And what I did was I told it, I want you to visualize this data and create a custom HTML interactive tables and other visual elements like graphs, charts, and infographs in which we can use. So as we can see, it's creating that right now, and we should be able to get a preview very soon. But if you wanted, again, to go back, we can go back to the actual content. We can copy this over and get an idea for the word count. So in terms of word count, this is 1900 words, which is pretty long. I would say that this is a good article. Again, I would like to just have some more interactive elements and that's exactly what I'll be showing you guys how to do. So this is a good article. It's written well, it has all the information. It looks really good. But again, I wanna make this a little bit better to increase the likeness that this is going to rank and that this is the best article by far on Google. So while that's being done, I'm gonna paste in the content onto our WordPress site. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy over these prompts here and I'm going to use my custom tool, which is image rocket. And it is the best for blog post images by far. Um, if you want to use it, just head over to image.wordrocket.ai. You get five free credits. It's in beta mode right now. If you want more credits, just message me, give me some feedback and I will give you free credits. No problem. So there's a couple of ways in which we can generate images. Number one is we can use the social media template. If we want just, uh, landscape style images, we can use this template. I like to use the model too. It is slower, but it definitely is faster. And then we can go ahead and add in our custom prompts. I'm gonna add in prompt number one, and then we're gonna add in prompt number two here. You can add up to five prompts at a time. So you can generate essentially five images at one time. So we're gonna generate these four images. And as you can see, we are using landscape mode. We're letting the AI choose the best style, or we can do realistic if you like, or general. So whatever you think is best, you can use that for that specific article. Um, you can add text overlays if you like, but for this example, we're just gonna keep the image prompts as they are, because the text overlays work for just one specific image. So let's go ahead and generate these images, and we're gonna come back over to see the content that um, Claude was able to create. So it created, a pretty cool interactive analysis of Canada's surprising growth in Q4 of 2024. Wow, this is really good. Q4 GDP growth growth analyzed or annualized. Wow, this is amazing. Growth drivers, so uncaught error. I don't know what that means. 2024. Okay, so I'm gonna tell it that we're getting these errors. Errors. But overall, it looks pretty good. So if you have issues like that, you just tell it you want it to create it in simple HTML code. So because this is the type of code that you can easily add on to your WordPress site. So I'm going to have it redo that and then we can add it in after the fact. So now let's go ahead and take a look at our images. So this is image number one. Pretty cool, pretty simple. Image number two, a Canadian house with a Canadian maple leaf. Image number three, we have some new builds. And image number four is a world map. These are beautiful images. I may be biased, but these are better images that you can get on stock sites because it's more tailored for your specific article, right? So I'm going to download all of these 
And as you can see, it's very, very easy to download. And now all we have to do is go back to wherever it has our prompts for our images. We're going to add an image. We're going to upload that image from our computer. And this was the first image, which was the image of the Canada flag with a graph. Beautiful. And just rinse and repeat for all of the other prompts. If you have any issues with the formatting, like you see here, all you have to do is head over to Markdown to HTML. Instead of copying over the preview, you want to copy over the raw HTML, and I'll show you what that will look like. So we went ahead and we have converted the article and used the raw HTML, and we've added in the images. And as you can see, article looks way, way better already. So we have custom images, we have well formatted. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go back over to Claude and see the HTML element. So let's go ahead and just copy over the code. And then we're going to head back over. I like to put it at the top because it's just so interactive that people sort of like using that a lot more. And I find that Google really likes it as well. So let's close that and see the preview. So the preview already looks pretty good. So as you can see, now we have a nice interactive Q4 economic performance dashboard. Let's go ahead and publish this. And I want to see what it looks like on the actual website. I had to mend the code of the actual HTML element to make sure that it's just one page and more narrow for my specific website. So you may need to do that for yourself. And it's simple. You just tell it to do so. But this is Canada's Q4 economic performance dashboard in which we're able to see key Q, uh, Q4 2024 indicators, significant data revisions, key growth drivers, sector contribution, tariff impact and forecast, Bank of Canada rate decision. All right, this is a beautiful, beautiful infographic in which we're able to get back expert perspectives. And then it goes into the full article. As you can see, this is a complete article. It has custom images. It is well researched and well formatted and has good information. And it also has a custom infographic that Google is going to love and your readers are going to love. And this is the type of thing that you need to do if you want to rank number one in Google. I've seen it time after time, including these custom tables, these custom charts. That is what Google loves to rank on uh, number one. So this is a complete article and I have very much confident in this article that it will actually rank. And this is the things in which you need to do to take your articles to the next level. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope that you learned something new. Again, if you want to check out my custom AI image tool, it's going to be in the description below today's video. If you want some free credits, just email me support at wordrocket.ai. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.